what we are saying if you have any legal legitimate business you want to conduct please take your business to a bank you want to travel go to your bank they will sell you fx you want to pay school fees go to your bank they will sell you fx pay medical bills which are some of the reasons that people give for going to bread exchange please go to your bank indeed i want to put it on record if the limit if the amount you want is even above the limit that is recognized and we find that the reason you are making those demands is legitimate your bank will speak to us and will give you more than what is even the limit don't go elsewhere go to your bank in the same vein you have dollar to sell go to your bank we don't recognize and we will not see it again that is our position and people are saying oh banks are not uh, doing banks are not selling we will continue to monitor the bank and i have said it if anybody sees a bank you go to your bank they don't sell to you we advertise an email we advertise hotlines and we said you should call the bank call us we would intervene and ensure that that bank sells to you however if you go to a bank with fake tickets fake visa fake passport we have told them not to sell to you if they sell to you mistakenly because you would bring them to sell to you and after two weeks they check and find that you cancelled your ticket or your visa is fake they will call you because you are their customer they have your bvn they have your number they will call you to return the dollar if you do not return it they will place your name on their website your bvn on their website we will pick those details we will send them to efcc and other crime agencies they will pursue you you must return the dollar because you cannot acquire it illegally that's our position we conducted a study one of the banks in one day sold about 52 sold to 52 people who wanted to who wanted to who said they wanted to travel after two weeks they went to check 40 out of the 52 have cancelled their ticket we have a situation where close to about 70 percent or 80 percent of people who went to a bank to buy business the business travel allowance on the excuse or reason that they want to travel banks sold to them turned back and then went and sold it to a black market because they wanted to enjoy the arbitrage they were asked to return it and we're going to pursue you if you are involved in these nefarious activities you want to do legitimate business conduct a legitimate business we will be with you that is on board the change we are not going to go back there again now anabuki fx yes unfortunately central bank our, our colleagues here wrote a memo to banks and ask those banks to provide information about Aboki FX. We have been studying the, the activities of Aboki FX in the last two and a half years. There was a, 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 a particular time I asked our colleagues to call the so called owner of Aboki FX that we want to understand his model, his basis, and how he came about um, advertising those rates. We find him as somebody, a Nigerian, who lives in England and conducts this nefarious and criminal activity on our economy. It is an economic sabotage that we will pursue him wherever he is. We will report him to the international security agencies. We will track him, Mr. Niwi, they will find you because we cannot allow you to continue to, to conduct an illegal activity that kills our economy. For your information, our preliminary findings reveal the following. First, that let me see, make it clear that if you are running a legitimate business and following our rules at the central bank for use of financial system, there is nothing to worry about. But if, if but for those who think they are smart and they want to continue to sabotage the efforts of central bank in running this economy for the good of Nigerians and this government, 
We will make life very difficult for you. Your time has come. We will continue to do our jobs of safeguarding the financial system for the better, betterment of everybody. Now, on Abuki, the company was registered in the UK in November 2015 and is owned by one person who claimed in his regular filings that there are other people with significant interest in that business, but he does not want to name them. So, who are these significant persons behind him? Why I didn't? This is on UK's filing records, and we will, put, we will go there and conduct those investigations. Since the inception of this business, he has continued to file the same accounts to the UK government, the same £1,000 cash at hand, that is his balance sheet. £1,000 cash on the cash on the one side of the balance sheet, and then same £1,000 total net assets. Same 1,000, shareholders' funds, balance, net debit and credit, 1,000 both ways, consecutively for four years. Yet, here in Nigeria, he and the company has over 25 bank accounts with about eight banks in both Naira and Dollar with significant turnover, also showing him simply milking the system through speculative activities on the Naira and collecting his proceeds in cash through a particular ATM in London. Our preliminary findings suggest that this website was built and is being used purely for the purpose of foreign exchange manipulation and speculation. They get Naira loans, use it to purchase dollars, take a position, change the rate over a given period, sell the dollars they purchase and make a profit this is completely illegal it's unacceptable and we will pursue them now on mr lumide another finding also should reveal that mr onimide right the owner of aboke fx is an illegal fx dealer between february 2020 and may 2020 and sold tens of millions of naira in FX to several Nigerian companies and will find those companies as well in contravention of our FX laws because he is an FX dealer, a legal FX dealer he directly benefits from the rates he, he quotes daily on his website we are finalizing our investigation and must warn these companies that patronize him that they are also going to face a wrath. A few questions. Has Nigerians ever asked how exactly Aboki FX collects his data that he publishes on his websites? How many BDCs can claim that they have either seen a staff of Aboki FX coming to ask for daily rates? Or how many BDCs send daily returns on exchange rate to Aboki FX? How then do they determine what the rate is and they post them illegally on their website? In which other unlicensed single person be the one that sets exchange rate in that country? How come he sets exchange rate of our own currency? Why is he not setting exchange rate of pounds, to do pounds and dollar? Or pounds and South African rand? or pounds and Ghana CD. Why target Nigeria? And yet, you are a Nigerian. You choose to live in London, enjoy all the, all the spoils in London at the expense of the blood of Nigerians. You will pay for it. The CPN Act Section 2 does make it clear that only the central bank can determine the value of the Naira. And yet, a single unscrupulous individual who lives in London continues to manipulate the rate of the Nigerian or rate of X rate of continues to make continues to collect these profits in cash ATM in London while other Nigerians suffer the consequences of these actions. We will not allow this to continue again.
what kind of registration does he have that allows him to do the kind of business he's doing? People should tell me. How exactly does he collect this data? Do you know any PDC that supplies this data? He should come out and give us this information. If he doesn't come out, we will find him. I have given instruction to our experts to go after his website. And let it be clear, we will go after him because we cannot allow this to continue. Since the inception of this company in 2015, he has, he he kept filing same cash at hand and net assets and shareholders forms. You may go ahead and check his UK filings. Yet millions of Naira and thousands of dollars go through his account. So that is the story of Aboki FX. And I hear that he's making news in social media. I'm not on social media. But let him come and meet me in Central Bank. Let him show his face. Those who feel they want to support him, to fight me, come out. Let's fight.